Hello everyone and welcome to the Hugh Hattrick channel. I do hope you're well and having a great weekend. Now we're here on Gran Turismo 7 after the new update and I thought I'd just give you a little um, impression of what I think of it. Now I've been doing the two new lap time challenges which is at the Tokyo Expressway in the new Ferrari and also the new track, the Eager uh, is whatever we call it here, the Eager Nordwand and the Subaru Impreza. Now, you may not have seen so much of me in the last few weeks, um, simply because I've not been able to get very good times. I've been struggling in the last couple of, really probably the last month, to get proper gold times on these uh, time trials, which is kind of strange for me, because normally I have been able to get a gold time, even if it's just been scraping through by a few tenths, and sometimes we've been about 1.5% or two, or certainly on 2%, um, you know, within the time. So I thought that's not too bad. But then in the last couple, we've been the, both the, the it was the Super Formula at Fuji and then the Sky, oh, the LFA at Sardinia. Um, I both could only manage silver. Now, normally when I try and do a gold video uh, of trying to show me, get a, get, to help you get a gold time so you can kind of learn some of the easy tips to yeah, improve your times. Um, yeah, they, I would I enjoy doing those, but I can't do a gold time if I can't actually physically get one. So I apologise for not being able to to do it. I, I have kind of struggled in the last month or two to really get to grips with GT7s, kind of the just the, the combinations. So I'm not really sure why that is. I'm trying to work harder to, um, you know, to get faster on the game. As you can see, I did actually manage to get a 2059. We're just within the percentage there. In fact, it's come right down. I'm probably going to have to um, have another go. But there's definitely something amiss. Um, I think basically with the new uh, update, we've seen that quite a lot of people have seen, have, uh, I'll show you my, for example, my lap time in, in that car. I don't know if I've saved it. Hopefully we have done. Um, but if you see my ranking, pretty much everybody is in front of me. Um, I'm not even in the top 10 on my friends list. I'm in 11th and I've just managed to get that. But I did think there was probably a little bit of time. So maybe I could get into the mid 205s um, to see how we do. And that was really going at it. I spent about two hours. Uh, well, not so much. I probably didn't spend about an hour getting this time. And I spent over two hours on the Subaru time. Now, if we go to the Subaru time, um, the best one I've got here. Uh, I'm not even in the top, uh, I'm 16th uh, with a 105.2. Um, I mean, even what I've noticed um, is that Key, he only managed a 104.7. Now, he's just within that time that is required now um, because we need, in fact, in fact, he's not, he's out of it. You need a 104.671. And I just cannot get this car to go around corners, to turn into bends, to brake. Now, I'm thinking, is it my wheel and pedals? Or what is the thing? I've watched how other people did it. I've watched Susie Q, who's very quick. Um, and I just, you know, I tried to learn from how she takes some of the bends and, and the hairpins, but I just could not get anywhere near them. So, yeah, it's 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 there's definitely a change in the dynamics because even on uh, the, the, the daily races, if I go to my time here on Group 4, um, which I did spend, again, about half an hour trying to get a time, and if you look at my uh, time, I'm, I'm well off the pace here with a 124.567. Um, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's 13th out of quite a big group there of friends, but most of them are in the low 24s uh, and many of them are in the 23s and the top guys are in the 22s. Now, again, I've watched the, the I've even played with the Ghost, but I cannot get my car to go quicker. So I'm kind of at a complete loss as to why. That is the case. I'm four and a half thousandths in the world. Normally, I can get maybe into the top thousand or certainly top 1500 and sometimes a bit closer. And what concerns me is that this is quite a short track. So I should be I shouldn't be as slow as that. I should be, you know, I should be able to make up the time. But obviously, I'm, I'm losing time in a lot of corners, um, which I'm unable to do. So either I'm going to have to get some training or we're going to have to really look at um, how we're playing this game uh, because I'm just not quick enough and I'm, I'm going backwards rather than forward. So if anyone has any tips, then please <laughs> let me know. I would love to hear from you. Um, the, the, the race A, B and C seem to be fairly popular. I'm, I'm kind of bored with the same races all the time. Um, I would quite like different combinations. Um, yeah, it's I'm just not particularly impressed. I think the for me, I'm almost getting to the point where I think I could actually do better in real life. So what's the point of playing a game if you're kind of if it's not even 
that much fun. So I'm at the point where I'm I am looking to find another game because GT7 is just not doing it for me. Um, I'm getting very bored of it. I'm getting very upset with the uh, just just doesn't do anything for me, you know. Um, and I, I don't know, perhaps if you feel the same way, but I'm just not particularly impressed. Um, yeah, we've got new tracks. People are some people are saying, "Oh, this is great." Well, it, it, I think what it's done is it's it's allowed gamers to play how they want to play it. But for people who actually are quite reasonable drivers and have a real life driving experience, it's getting further and further away from what actual driving is about and what racing is about. So yeah, I'm not. It really, I, I think it's taken a step back for enthusiasts, but probably a step forward for gamers because they seem to be able to play and they seem to be able to like it from seeing other people's opinion piece. But we'll be talking about this on Monday in our podcast with me and Rue, and we may well have some other guests as well coming on the show. But let me know what you think. Um, it's, you know, I normally, normally try to paint a fairly positive picture, but I'm just not, I'm just not impressed. It's. The, I think maybe my wheel, the 923, just isn't suited to Gran Turismo at all, um, the Logitech. And yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe I should get a Thrustmaster TGT2 or a, one of these DD Pros, something like that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to be looking at other games in the very near future to try. Because I would like, I, like, I enjoy streaming. I'd like to get back to streaming again and playing the games. But I'm just not having any fun on this at all. So we'll see how it goes. But take care, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. And I will be back very soon. In fact, we'll be back on Monday night for our weekly live stream about Formula One. So uh, enjoy the Grand Prix tomorrow, and we'll see you very soon. Bye just now.